John here. So in my last video I taught you how to create some basic t-shirt designs just using text and using Google as well. But in this video I'm going to teach you how to create some more complex designs using illustrations, vectors, and stock images that already exist on the web. So for this video I'm going to um, just kind of pick something random, pick something that's uh, hot in the news right now. Um, and I was thinking Donald Trump. I know, I know. Everyone's <laughs> sick and tired of hearing about him. But hear me out. So, um, in Google, actually, I wouldn't search Donald Trump. I would search something like vector or silhouette. Something that can give me an, an image that would be mostly one or two colors. So um, something that I could search is like this one looks really good. This one as well. Ones that I can trace really easily using Adobe Illustrator. So for, for this video, I'll actually just go with this one. Looks pretty good. So I'm just going to view it in Google. And it looks pretty high quality as well. So, I'll save that bad boy. Trump. Okay, now that we have our Trump image, we've opened it up in Illustrator and we're going to trace it. So we're going to turn this JPEG image into a vector so that we can resize it and kind of manipulate the image a little bit easier without making it look like complete crap and that's what it would look like if we tried to modify it in Photoshop or uh, something similar to that so we're going to click image trace up here and sometimes you'll have to play with the options a little bit because you'll get a different output each time but for this one since there's some kind of vague yellows and some grays and some bright orange and black We'll go with three colors because I think the black and white might um, <clears throat> mess up when it's trying to split these colors a little bit. So you'll see what I mean in a second here. So now it's turned my image into a vector and just click expand up here. And we'll just clean it up a little bit. Remove everything you don't want. I'm just going to keep the, the silhouette for now. And it's actually connected to this black down here. Usually I would try to make it a cleaner removal. But for now I'm just going to use the eraser. There's a whole bunch of other tools you can use too turn this into a, a perfect circle if you'd like. So I'm just going to delete all this jazz. And with all that's remaining, it's still a couple different colors and it's a whole bunch of different paths as you can see as defined by his head. So what we're going to do, go up to window, click Pathfinder um, to make the Pathfinder window visible and what the Pathfinder does is it can connect a whole bunch of different shapes that they might be the same color they might be different colors but once you unite them with the Pathfinder they all become one shape but you can also remove one shape from the other so I could maybe make this top shape transparent while the bottom shape remains black. But for now, we'll just unite it. And so there we go. Now we have a, oh. now we have a, a perfect Trump silhouette. So here is the important part because we don't want to get sued and we don't want our t-shirt design to be removed by Amazon. So we have to make some significant changes to some of the lines, maybe even like the shape of his head. 
to make sure that it can be kind of classified as an original creation. So the tool that I'll use first is over here, right under the rotate tool. Uh, you have a, a lot of tools here to kind of tinker with the lines and manipulate the shape a little bit, but what I use usually is the warp tool. And if you want to resize it, if you're on a Mac, hold down Option and click on your mouse and just kind of move it around a little bit. So, so here I might make his head a new shape, maybe. <laughs> Maybe a little more round, but also you can make his hair a little more extreme. And maybe just make it look a little more cartoony. Give him a Pinocchio nose. There we go. I don't know. Does that look like him? Kind of like a, a Shrek version or something. So we'll just save the new image as an EPS Trump Vector. Save it in my Dropbox. Just click OK. And oh, here's my uh, original attempt at the Trump head. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to delete my winning video, <laughs> my, my winning designs. So, Trump head. Oh, wait. No, it was a Trump. There we go. Trump vector. Okay, looks good. So now that we have our um, our trump head, I think I'll I'll try to add another design element in there. So I kind of have always had this idea of uh, like a trump card, you know. So I'm gonna use the same strategy to kind of get the basic shape of a a playing card. I mean, we all know the shape of a playing card, but I want kind of perfect dimensions. So, so I'll place my ace Oh, I'll just use this one. And to be honest, like an ace of spades, it's such a generic design that you probably won't have these people coming after you to sue you, whoever created this one, because I'm going to completely change it. Anyways, so just going to resize my trump head, replace the spade. And I'm going to turn off the trump layer, go to the ace of spades, and I'm going to use the eyedropper right here to take the color from this spade here. So. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the paintbrush and remove the spade entirely. So now we have our trump card. <laughs> and so if you want to replace these little spades, for example, then you duplicate your trump layer by uh, right-clicking here. 
and we're going to go edit free transform which means we can resize it hold down shift like we talked about earlier so now we'll get ourselves some little trump heads and we're going to duplicate the little trump head now and I'm going to try to turn this one upside down so what I'll do here is I'll rotate it let's see 180 yeah there we go so now we have two little trump heads and we'll take our brush do the same thing that we did with the big trump head just erase that spade back there and there we go now we have our trump card and so uh, you can use that as a t-shirt maybe you can replace the ace with the the a with a t as well that's what you're into so there we go it's kind of um, the next level in terms of just using vector images and stock illustrations that are available widely on the internet to create your own t-shirt designs and you can do this with you know not just Trump but you can do it with any any kind of stock photos or clip art so um, let's see what's another one Think of a popular fishing clip art. I always go back to fishing for some reason. So you could technically use this clip art, although it has a lot of different colors. If you, it's it's better if you can find a bigger size, but you could use the same transform button that we used earlier in uh, Adobe Illustrator. And you can maybe transform it into six colors or something like that. This one would be pretty easy to use if you can find a, a larger size. Just transform it into two colors, take that image, and modify it a little bit. But this is kind of what I do to avoid starting from scratch. I mean, there's no reason to really reinvent the wheel. But obviously, don't steal other people's designs entirely. Just use them as a base and just um, take it from there and create your own design.